Hi, today I'm here with my gorgeous eight-year-old daughter, Layla. Hi. And we're going to do a book review over our five favourite books from Julia Donaldson. And the first book is... Zog! It's a very, very nice book and it's illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Um, it's about this dragon who goes through dragon school and he gets loads of bumps and bruises on the right way but he also learns a lot of tricks. It's it's really interesting because it, instead of uh, seeing it from the uh, uh, from the human view, you see it from Zog's view. Right, and what's the best bit about this book do you think? Mm, the last bit, but I can't say that because otherwise it's not very interesting. No, no spoilers! No. no. Shall we read a little bit from this book? I think so. Okay. Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. So you see, it all rhymes, it reads really easily and I also agree with Layla, I think this is a great book. So, it's a good read. Read it. Our next book, and possibly my absolute favourite to read to my two gorgeous girls, is the... The Gruffalo! Yay! This is also illustrated by Axel Scheffler, and they, it's just a fantastic okay. book. Layla, tell us about it. The, it's, it's this mouse who meets all of these animals and he, and he makes up the Gruffalo, but he meets the, a Gruffalo and, and, the, and it's a very nice book because it's just good. Okay. And it's got loads of pictures. I can't argue with that, it's just good. Let's read a little bit. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake. But no, I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. It has these great illustrations. That's of why, the mouse and the snake. That's why it's also illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Yes, he's really good. Don't know the guy, but he's really good. Um, they also made a BBC television programme about this. I think it was on the BBC. And that's also good. So if you... Um, yeah, it was on the BBC. Yeah? Yeah. I think it comes on at Christmas time or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's like... It's the Gruffalo's child and the Gruffalo. And the Gruffalo. So it's uh, really worth a read. We recommend it. It's Cave Baby! Yeah. <laughs> right, Cave Baby is uh, one of the later ones that we have bought. Of course, the name says it all. It's about a baby who lives in the cave. So it's about cavemen. And uh, this baby is very talented, he's very artistic, and he likes painting pictures all over the walls of his cave. But his mum and dad don't really like that as much as he does. So uh, he basically goes off with a mammoth, as you can see on the front he goes off with this mammoth, and he gets into all sorts of uh, adventures. So, what do you think of this book, Layla? I really like it. Yeah. What's your best part? Mm, well, the colourful part. The most colourful part. Oh, the cave paintings. Right, okay. Let's read a little bit from this. Let's see. Cave baby's restless. He's feeling wide awake. A long grey trunk comes sneaking in, all wiggly, like a snake. Where are you taking me? Where? Tell me where? Are you going to throw me to the big brown bear? Ooh. 
read it. It's great. And the next book is What the Ladybird Heard. Tell us about it, Layla. Well, it's about these farm animals and the cows just won a prize. And there's these thieves, these thieves, and they want to steal some of uh, They want to steal the prize cow. Yeah, and, and the animals make a plan because the ladybird heard everything and what they were going to plan. So they, uh, so they uh, made a plan and the ladybird never talked before that and never talked again. The great thing about this book, for smaller children of course, is that it's all sparkly. I don't know whether you can pick that up on the camera. You can only just pick it up. Yeah, but it's really nice and sparkly and colourful just like all of the other books. And it's really easy to read. So for very small children, it doesn't take very long to read and it keeps them interested. And uh, it's just nice because they can relate to the animals and uh, yeah, I, I really like this book. What do you think? I like it. Okay. What the ladybird heard. Now, I said that the Gruffalo was my favourite, but I think it's tied with the next book. What do you think? Yeah, it's going to be tied with the next book. Yeah, I can't make my mind up which one is my absolute favourite, so I'm just going to show this one. This one is called Tiddler. And it's about a fish. Yes, it's about a little fish in a very big ocean. Yeah. And the way that Tiddler makes up for this is that he tells tall tales. tales. Let's read a little bit from it. It's colourful too. Go on, see, it's very nice and colourful. At nine o'clock on Monday, Miss Skate called and register. Little Johnny Dory, yes, Miss Skate. Rabbitfish, yes, Miss. Redfin, yes, Miss. Tiddler, Tiddler, Tiddler's late. Sorry I'm late, I was swimming round a shipwreck. I swam into a treasure chest and someone closed the lid. I bashed and I thrashed till a mermaid let me out again. Oh no she didn't. Oh yes she did. Oh, and it continues like that. And uh, this little fish, he tells his tall tales until it gets him into a little bit of trouble. And then he has to find his way home again. And uh, he follows his story home. But it's a really good book. It follows the same pattern throughout where Tiddler's always late because he's been dreaming up a story. And nobody seems to believe him except little Johnny Dory. And uh, it's, it's great. It's a fantastic book. Please read it. And that's it for our top five books from Julia Donaldson. Uh, they're all illustrated by different people. I know we didn't mention them all, but we'll put them down in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.